Well, good morning. It's Bobby Lee and Willis. <laughs> we just stopped and got us a biscuit at the Gilt Edge Express. Headed on up the road. Had a huge rain last night, just the afternoon into last night. Let's see what we got. Good grief. Two point, I'm gonna call it exactly two and a half. We, uh, you know, still haven't replaced the rain gauge at home, so I have to stop and check this one. Um, calves are on the other end of this farm still, so now we gotta get back in the car and uh, head on up there, see what, uh, see what we got going on. Okay, so made it down here to the other end of the farm. Calves are across the way over there. Hollered, they're on their way up here. We'll get a head count. Yesterday, we ran into a little issue down here. Could only find one bull. One bull came up and ate with everybody else. The other one did not. And uh, trying to remember, may have been one other calf short, but yeah, for him to not come up and pretty much be by himself somewhere, has me worried that, um, you know, being breeding season, he likely, at least in my mind, most likely is just, he's injured himself. Um, you know, so if he does not come up this morning, which I, that may be wishful thinking, we're gonna have to go on a, a search mission. We rode around and looked for him yesterday, but of course I was limited on time, needing to go to work. I'm sure he was laid up somewhere in the shade. Um, it was bright and sunshine yesterday morning and uh, I'm sure he had, if he was hurt, he had laid down somewhere in a good shady spot the day before where it was cool. But we're gonna find that bull, aren't we? First, we'll get a head count on these and hey, maybe, maybe the good Lord will smile down on us and he'll be right up here with them like nothing ever happened. Well, we shall see. Come on, babies. Come on. Yeah. Woo! And yes, as we expected, we are one short and it is the one bull. Um, there's the other bull. Um, I guess it is at least the one I would prefer to have been. That's the bull we're, we're leasing from a friend that is fine. It is the one that, that is ours um, that something is wrong with. So I'd rather it be that way. Um, you know, obviously if something happened to this one, we'd make it right. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd rather not. You always hate to essentially borrow something and then something happened to it. But uh, this also highlights why, you know, we talked, I guess it was two weeks ago since we turned these bulls out, that we like to have a little more bull power than maybe, you know, our formula would tell us we have to have. Um, you know, one bull, especially a mature bull like these two, would have been fine for this number of heifers. Um, but when you only have one, you can't afford for anything to happen to him. And yeah, we don't know what happened to this bull. We, we haven't laid eyes on him yet. Um, he was fine the day before yesterday. Um, yeah, now we, the biggest issue is gonna be finding him. Uh, just cause there's plenty of places he could be laid up. Um, and thicket, you could almost walk right past him. Well, as my helper comes along there behind me, Good news, we found the bull. He is on his feet. I like that too. We shall see what the malfunction is. Hey buddy, what's wrong? Hey, can you take a step or two? Hey bud. Well, that's unusual. He, he is pretty gentle bull, but he's not a pet normally. Not one you're gonna just walk up and put your hands on. What's wrong, big guy? I don't know what to think. Um, really thought we were gonna find him laid up somewhere. He'd get up and you'd see he was limping. Willis, you back up, you back up. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with him. Huh. Here, you wanna hold the camera while I look at him? Just watch us through that right there. Hey, buddy boy. What's wrong? Oh, here, big guy. All right, he's injured himself somehow, and I don't even know how he would have done this. Look at his tail there, scraped up, real swollen. Um, 
I don't know. Um, I may take y'all's uh, y'all's thoughts and theories on this. If he, if he and the other bull got to fighting for some reason, which you know, very common to see bulls fight. I actually have not seen either of those two interested in fighting one another. They've always just you know been content to <laughs> to focus on the ladies. They don't shake the tree. You go shake water down. It rained a bunch last night, but he's clearly swollen there through his tail and then. Let me see if I can get a better shot for you. Watch out, Willis. Um, he just scraped up really bad. Um, so if if that's the extent of the injury, um, and he's just got him sore there in his back end, I mean, he's obviously up moving around, this may be uh, about as good of a scenario as I could have imagined. I was afraid he was going to have you know, a more significant injury, something where he was really limp and barely able to get around. Of course, we're as far as we can be on this farm, relatively speaking. We're in the furthest pasture from where our catch pen shoot is. So, um, I don't know. You look at that and you think, okay, you know, he's going to take him a few days, maybe a week or so. But he should be back to um, relatively normal pretty quickly. Um, Willis just cannot help himself shaking these little trees. Yeah, I really don't know what else to do for this guy. I mean, you could say, you know, give him a shot of an anti-inflammatory, things like that. Willis, I really wish you weren't that close to that bull. I don't think he's going to do anything. But again, we don't have a way to get him uh, restrained to give an injection. Um, not around here. And yeah, truth be known, I'm really being optimistic. This is going to be a pretty self-limiting problem. A Hereford cow here that just seemingly will not calve. I think we've been watching her for a month now saying oh she's getting close as we look at the bull walking off down through there it's pretty apparent the theme for this video is going to be bull problems um as you may be able to see swinging down low there he's got some hardware issues um very similar issue one he dealt with in the past um which obviously begs the question of why did we ever keep him um and thankfully it doesn't affect his ability to, to urinate and so it's not a life-threatening problem, but we need to get him out of here. A bunch of reasons. Number one, he's just going to hurt himself even worse. Number two, I really doubt he can effectively breed. Probably number three is he seems to be kind of the alpha amongst the three bulls. So if he's not able to effectively breed, even though he's going to keep trying, I don't want him keeping the other bulls run off. Um, obviously, as we look, bull right there showing that cow a little attention. But another good example why we kind of keep around more bulls than we need. We definitely have too many bulls here. When we bought the, the two Brangus bulls about a year and a half ago, one was my dad's. Um, my dad actually bought him. We, we bought two, had them delivered together. Um, he kept him here. Just You said he didn't really need him yet. He has since decided that they don't really need another bull anyway. And so um yeah we will we'll sell him um he's not going to be any good for, for breeding obviously um the sheath you know he's not real clean sheath got that big pendulous sheath that brangus bulls can tend to have um or any of the brahma cross um what i always thought was interesting this here is a homegrown an f1 he is 50 percent brahmin look at how clean his sheath is super clean when i say that it's just not super pendulous where it can hang down and be at risk of trauma or those bulls um i'd have to look at their exact percentage but they're you know maybe 25 percent brahmin I only have about half the brahmin influence that this bull has but just yeah just anatomically not as as um perfect as they should be well yeah three bulls out here we really only need two um you know a situation where if you're really you might could even get by with one. I wouldn't recommend it. So it won't be any any loss in terms of our breeding capability to get him out of here. Um, and really, it may be a gain because keep him from, uh, you know, keeping the other bulls from breeding. Here they all come. Of course, he's kind of bringing up the rear, but um, <laughs> as that thing is swinging and flopping around, he, uh, he might want to keep it on lower gear. I can see where uh, into that thing's a little tender. 
moving too quickly might not be uh, too comfortable for me. But yeah, again, we're gonna avoid um, as many inappropriate jo jokes as we can. Of course, we'll just call them all up here, sort him off, and I'll dress up and go back out to the pasture. Well, he came up here, but he got about, I don't know, 20 or so in the pen, but he's not one of them. Go on in there, son. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's more interested in the ladies than he is in the food. Few of these cows out of here while keeping him caught. Actually, he may have just caught himself. But we'll use that to our advantage. It was nice not having any animals in this in this pen area the last few days since we turned the bulls out. So what I'm gonna probably do is just put him in here. Basically, well, in the exact area where our feeder steers stayed all winter and uh we'll just put the roll of hay over here um in this pen with him that way he's got hay he's got the automatic water we just want to deal with him um until it's time for uh him to go to the sale barn yeah buddy i hope you had your fun told you it was a marathon not a sprint um I don't know if that injury happened simply because he was going too hard, too fast, treating it like a sprint. But the reality is, um, I think his breeding days ended just a few minutes ago. And um, yeah, he's probably gonna be found in a hamburger patty near you sometime in the next, well, I don't know how soon it'll be because I don't know how soon we'll get him to sale barn. Um, is your reality? I'll leave him in there, gonna roll a hay over there for him. He'll be content. No, I say content. He won't be near as content as he would be out there with them cows, but he's gonna be pretty much secure. Um, and I'll say that, I'm probably gonna regret. He's gonna figure out a way to get out of there. But he'll be there, he'll have hay, water. He really won't be in our way. We can, we'll give him a little feed every day too. Um, we're at, even if it is a month before we get to the sale barn, he'll be, out of the way, content, and um, you know, too, he'll heal up a little bit. Um, not that that should affect his salvage value as a kill bull, but anybody who's ever sold, you know, coal animals like this, you know, it, it drives you insane. Um, they'll ding you for something like that, even though it will affect, again, that salvage value, none. But anyway, it's just, just the way they do it. So yeah, if he does heal up a little bit and look a little more normal when he goes to that cell ring, might be worth a couple hundred more bucks or so. Stop by to get some fuel. Um, obviously we're not gonna need any fuel today, but while we're out and about, and I see Logan, why aren't you filming, man? You're supposed to be filming for LH Farms. I know, that's what I was telling Bobby Lee. I've been slacking. I've been slacking. If any of you are watchers of my channel, you're like, where the heck has this guy been? Yeah, I'll try to put the link up there. I'm not real good at that, but I need to check him out. But yeah, it sounds like, you know, we've had all kinds of bull problems today. He's had some problems of his own. Yeah, yeah, last, yesterday. Well, you can show them. They make it, it may show up. L Logan's got a shiny new new motor on, on the water trailer, but it wasn't by, by, I guess, design, or it wasn't a planned upgrade. All right, if you'll see all the cracks and busts, along the bottom that's not supposed to be there yeah my my helping hand had a had an accident they jackknifed the trailer yesterday and naturally y'all were trying to get a bunch of crop sprayed before the rain yesterday afternoon yeah. so, and then it rained yeah three inches so. yeah these things never happen in, in a good time so they don't but so yeah, he did upgrade went to we, a little bigger motor we were actually talking about because this motor needed ether to crank yeah and then after it would crank it would run all day but uh I, and i we had just talked about like man we'll have to fix the starter and carburetor on this thing yeah. it'll be good to go and my help said he was just gonna mess the motor up so badly that that would just require it <laughs> but that was got an electric start yeah but it didn't work anymore, uh, okay it? so 
They had disconnected the battery, so I don't know if the starter was bad or what. But okay, so you used pull start anyway. Yeah. Well, good deal. So well, yes, actually upgraded a lot bigger motor. Then had the brackets, I guess, were broken. Doing some welding. Those were good, but it had this motor's bigger, so I had to oh. weld a filler metal in there and try to get it off. Where this thing, yeah. the pump ain't going to be shaking. Yeah. So. Ar Arbor Freight had one I almost considered throwing on there, but I was a little afraid. Yeah. So, when yeah. You, when will y'all get back in the field? Shoot, I don't know. After don't after know. two and a half inches of rain? Yeah, I don't know. Everywhere that I gotta, I gotta finish spraying so that I can get back to planting. And I don't know. I don't even know. We'll see. It looks like it's gonna rain right now. I know there's a chance on fr Friday night into Saturday morning. It's like a... 60 percent chance but then there's a break because if it doesn't rain too much i'm hoping to cut hay on sunday yeah and i can bail it about a week from today so well i got some corn i gotta spray or it's gonna be nothing grass yeah coming up in it well, that's what i noticed just up the road here um farm yeah our dad's work it corn's up but so's the grass yeah the field i sprayed yesterday the grass was as tall as the corn it was it was crazy it looked like i had never sprayed it the first time just crab grass or yeah it was just and it was solid it yeah was solid grass wow you could have bailed it probably yeah yeah i got a guy that called me today that's actually going to go cut a field that i usually just plant green he asked if he could go bail it, and I told him, yeah, I don't care. So he was yeah. like, I said, make it a little easier. He's going to get a cutting off of it, and then you're going to plant yeah. it. All right. Well, I'm going to get back to the house. Okay, something I wasn't going to film, but this is a big moment in a young man's life. I had to replace the inner tube on Willis's back tire. So when I was doing that, I was like, you know what? The training wheels are coming off. And Kimber might be doing the most Generation Z, or I don't even know. Are they the generation almost, after generations at this point? Did it. Um, she is pushing her bicycle while she rides a hoverboard. Let's see if you can ride it without training wheels. Of course, we're country folk. We don't have any concrete, right? Literally have a tiny pad. Oh. Now, have you been, what, you gotta watch for you. Have you been riding a bike without training wheels before? No. Well, get back on there. You crashed, you gotta show her again. So wow, yeah, y'all are y'all are seeing this firsthand for the for the very first time, Willis riding a bicycle without training wheels. What is that, a Ninja Turtles bicycle? Yes, sir. Watch the mud hole, watch the mud hole. Oh Lord. Get going. You did it a minute ago. Oh Lord, you did it. Yeah. You know, city kids who have sidewalks and, and paved or concrete driveways to ride on will, will never understand the struggle of these kids having to ride on a really bumpy gravel driveway. Okay, so I rode back here to check on the cows again and see about um, you know, that one cow. I guess two left to calve, but our Hereford right here was the one closest. Um, she's obviously um, taking a little swim or a bath and so Still no calf for her, still on calf watch. Um, and yeah, look at there. Look who decided to make an appearance, the sunshine. So that is nice. Um, I immediately wish I had my sunglasses. Um, and a cowboy hat, keep it off my ears. But uh, speaking of hats, I did change hats. Still got these available on the website, hurricanecreek.farm. Um, got the other style hats too. I'm thinking about getting some shirts. Um, I've got a little interest from people. Um, of course, you can find a link to that website um, in the description for the video. Also a link to the podcast, um, the podcast YouTube channel, to Logan's YouTube channel, LH Farms. Again, I'm going to try to have shared a link to that um, previously. Hopefully I got, was able to do that. Um, also a link to agzaga.com, all the links. I don't want to bore you with all that, but of course, if you go to agzaga HCF10, get 10% off because why wouldn't you? Um, but yeah, sun's finally coming out. Just immediately lifts the spirits. Um, been a, been a, still a relatively productive day. Didn't get to the things we wanted to get to, which were um, once we knew that we weren't gonna be able to cut any hay today, we would hope to spray some pasture, but it was too muddy for that. Um, 
rain here in another like 48 hours or so, which is why again, we weren't ever gonna be able to cut hay today. After that, it looks like we got a little break in the weather. So hopefully this weekend we'll be back on the tractor with the mower, getting some hay cut. Then um, of course baling next week. Again, all that's forecast dependent. Um, and we'll just have to get to spray in the pasture when we can. Yeah, at this point we couldn't do that today because I was looking at that. It's like, man, we really need to get it sprayed before that ragweed gets ahead of us. Um, and thought today would be the perfect time to do it, but not after it rained two and a half inches last night. But anyway, I'm gonna ramble on at the end of the video. Um, y'all know that, but we really appreciate y'all watching. Got lots more good stuff coming up. Um, yeah, just check it out. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. We appreciate all that. Appreciate y'all coming along. And um, yeah, as we leave the cows out here, getting a drink, staying cool. Tell y'all, eat beef and God bless.